Hi, this is Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio. So, first Sunday in June, and that means a prompt of the month for the Mixed Media Emporium Facebook group. And the prompt for June is image transfers. So, I'm going to try mm, a couple of different techniques today. Hopefully they're going to turn out with image transfers. It can be a bit of a hit, and a, hit or a miss, but, uh, you know, hopefully... I'll get something decent from it that I can then go on to use, whether today or whether in another video. So it's, I'm filming this Saturday morning, it's 6.30am, I've been up for a good few hours and I thought, well, I may as well just get this started now. It's lovely and quiet outside. The only thing I'm hearing uh, are the birds chirping away. So let's get started and I will switch to editing mode. So, I'll speed this up a little bit, but let me say now, this is not a tutorial because this did not go the way that I had hoped. I will tell you about the different techniques, but you'll see that most are fails. Anyway, I've pulled out a number of different images from my collage folder, and what I'm going to do is try these in the different techniques. So. Here I am, I'm just going to cut out this eye. A lot of my images have eyes in them. There's something about the eyes that uh, I kind of like using. So I've pulled that out. I then see the lips on the other side. Not something I would normally use in this way, but I thought, well, you know, this is just about demonstrating the technique. That other bit of paper will go off to be used as collage in some way. So here is technique one. I'm going to use my Winsor & Newton gel matte medium and basically I'm going to put a layer of this over and I will put another layer on it later. I had intended to put four layers of this on but just the time it was taken to dry I ended up only with two. So this is the first technique and the idea here is that you rub the paper off the back and you're actually left being able to see through the uh, gel mat medium. So you will see some of the image, but the rest you see right through. Technique two, I'm going to do in a slightly different way. So I'm going to use the gel mat medium again, and you could use something like Mod Podge. I have used a decoupage glue before for that first technique, but it was too thin, it needed something thicker, so Mod Podge or a gel matte medium. So getting a good coat of it on, and what I'm basically going to do is to put this, the glue side down onto this piece of paper. Now I was just using some off cuts of cartridge paper that I have, and actually I don't think that was the best paper to use, I maybe should have used something a bit heavier. Uh, so just making sure that those two that the two surfaces are fully bonded. It doesn't matter that there's not gel matte medium on the edge there because that will actually help me to pull it off later. So I'm going to put those two to the side to dry. And here is technique three. So again, just taking uh, eyes here, not looking to do that full image. And what I'm going to do with technique three is to use gesso. I'm using De La Rowney Graduate Gesso. Now, you could actually use a white paint for this. This one I found in the past has, this sort of technique has worked less well than others, but it is still a technique for doing image transfers. So I'm getting a reasonable coat of gesso down. I've had this gesso a wee while, it's actually getting kind of thicker the nearer I get to the bottom of the tub, and it's, I don't know if it was just a bit too thick. Uh, well, to be honest, it was just one of those days where nothing seemed to be going right. But again, I want to make sure that those two are fully bonded. And again, I will put that off to the side to let it dry. So these all need a bit of drying time. Now I'm going to do some image transfers on the gel plate and I know this is a very popular way to do image transfers. 
Now my plate is a bit dirty but I decide just to, to run with it as is. That may have been a mistake though. So for technique four on the gel plate I'm going to put down some acrylic paint and I'm using a De La Rowney graduate Payne's grey. And one of the things with doing this on a gel plate is you've almost got to get the right thickness of paint. You don't want it too thick and you don't want it too thin. And depending on the paint you're using, the results can be variable. But that's also the case with the different images. You know, some magazines, some images will transfer better than others. And it is a case of just trying things out and seeing what works best. So I've put that down. I'm realising there's a little gap down there. So I decide just to take that corner out. There had been an eye with that image, but I used that in a previous uh, journal page. And I'll link that above and below just in case you're interested. It was one that I distressed, I think using the stencil distress technique. So just using a bit of wet strength tissue paper, really just looking to get the excess paint up that's not on or that's not under the actual images. And again, just trying to make sure that they're fully bonded. Now, the other thing about the images is you can never tell quite how long it's going to take. So just having a peek there, the top one seems to have taken a bit more, although I don't think there was enough contrast in the image uh, for it to really work. I think there was also a bit of, I didn't see the image, I'm seeing it better now on the screen than I did when I was actually looking at it. So it might have turned out better than I thought, but there was something about this paint that was almost bobbling a little bit. And I don't know if that was because my plate wasn't clean, if there was something on it that caused the paint to kind of just, uh, oh gosh, you know, just to kind of almost go into little balls. But uh, it may simply be the, the, the paint itself reacting with those images for some reason. So you can see there, I got a little bit of something, but not much at all. So I then decide to try again with this next one. So basically same technique and I'm going to whiz this on a bit quicker. So using that same Payne's grey and at this point I still hadn't cleaned the plate and I'm just going to try this one here. I thought there was perhaps a bit more contrast in the image than the earlier one that I used. So again, using the brayer just to try and make sure that the two surfaces are bonded together sufficiently for the transfer to take place. I keep checking it, uh, probably getting a little bit impatient at this point, looking for it to work. And I can see something, I can see the writing, but the actual image of the person standing just isn't coming out at all. And you'll see that here. I can see bits of it, but not much at all. So again, a bit of a fail. I try using a bit of tissue paper just to see if that lifts anything, but really nothing much at all. I got a little bit, again, of the words, but not much more of the image itself. Again, just checking, seeing if it's going to lift. Looking at that, thinking, oh well, that will make good collage, if nothing else. So I just come back to this meantime and I'm going to put my second coat of uh, gel matte medium on it. The first coat wasn't fully dry. I should have let it dry fully, but you know, this, this video should be titled how not to do image transfers because I probably did everything wrong today. Anyway, here we go, pulling this and you know, I'm seeing the writing but that's about it. can barely see the image at all. So I've cleaned one side of my gel plate and I'm now going to use this Dealer Rowney Simply Acrylic Paint in blue. 
so it's not as good a quality as the other paint I was using but I just wanted to try something different and as I say my gel plate had been cleaned on one side so again just lifting off the excess paint from around the image and right away I could feel that that was sticking better and I can see the image there so at last something that had worked so I left a little while and I'm now taking this Naples Yellow by uh, Pabio and I'm just going to put this over and try and lift the print this way so I use a sheet of basic copy paper and try to lift it so that didn't really work uh, didn't get much from that at all but what I do is I go over it with the Naples yellow again then I take a sheet of the wet strength tissue paper and I leave that on the plate for a little while before actually trying to lift it so while that's off to the side I go back to the, the two that I've done where one is with gesso and one is with gel matte medium I've sprayed them both with water to try and start to soften the paper and where there's an edge I can get it started so what I'll basically do is try and get this top layer off and then to start working on the lower layers now once the top bits off it's then just a case of taking my fingers and rubbing it now this can be a long drawn out process and what happened here on both of these was that I got the top paper off fine I don't know if I was rubbing too hard if I'd put too much water down or if it was actually my base paper the cartridge paper below but I started to rub some holes in it it could also have been that the two surfaces hadn't been bonded together sufficiently so I'm not going to show you all of this I will just show you bits of it here and there so you can see what happens but you can see that some of the image is starting to actually be lifted there those white spots and I go back and forward between the two I was going to go back to the gel plate at this point but then decide to do another one using the gel map medium transfer because I realised the others weren't going well so this was a thinner magazine page I think this was actually from a travel brochure so I thought it might work a little bit better so basically the same technique I will put this face down onto the paper so back to the other two now and although I've got the top layer off the paper there are still other layers that need to come off so I decided this time just to spray some water on my fingers and when you look at it there it looks like it's starting to come off but it's amazing just how many layers there are and of course the more I was rubbing the more I was getting those white spots and I just kept working back and forward between the two and to be honest by the time I got into this one I couldn't even remember what what the original image of this one was so there's still some of the top layer coming off there couldn't see what was underneath immediately but then started to see eyes appearing so again working away on that for quite a while so despite much of the paper rubbing away and leaving the white spots I did feel that I was starting to get somewhere especially with the one with the eyes but again I left them aside and I went back to the gel plate because I wanted to pull this just to see if this had worked just pulling away the edges gently just to see if it's picking everything up it leaves little bits the paper had wrinkled uh, but all in all I was actually quite happy because this was probably the best pool uh, and the best image transfer that I got today and I didn't mind the fact it had the wrinkles it just gave it a bit of a, a kind of aged distressed look so yeah I was happy with that so you know trying to decide where next with these because I was rubbing more and more holes in them 
I then started on that final image that I tried and the top layer was coming off quite nicely on this but again I started to get the same thing. I don't know if I was just rubbing too hard today, uh, I was starting to become conscious of time and probably started to rush a bit, probably starting to get a bit frustrated about things not going according to plan and you know sometimes that's just the way it is. But I decided to keep all this in because it's about keeping it real. You know, not everything works out. So you will see how I try and rescue everything by bringing it together into an art journal page. So this one is where I had covered it just in gel medium. So again, looking to take the background off it but because I hadn't put enough layers of gel medium on it was basically pulling apart. Again I was probably being a bit heavy-handed with it but it actually tore in several places. Frustrating yes but hey-ho it's the way it goes sometimes. So I take out one of my art journals, this one is by Fabriano and just look for a page that I can start to try and make something of these pieces. I don't use them all, you can see that there's still layers on some of them but I just thought it's not worth trying to take these further because they're just going to keep tearing and it will become more frustrating. So I do pull this together into a journal page so I'm going to leave you just for a few minutes to see how I work through this. You'll see me going back and forward. I was going to do a double page spread but then in the end I decide on a single page. I use some of the image transfers but also one of the images that uh, was the kind of base image for the transfer. So be back with you in just a few minutes.
Okay, so just a moment's reflection on the process, time for some final thoughts, and uh, yeah, I recorded this at the time. Here we go. Okay, so I've been at this for oh, two and a half hours, and it was a succession of disasters, but there we go. This is what I've ended up with. I'm okay with it. It's a grungy journal page. My cup of tea, in a sense. Uh, I tried to make the most of a series of things that just didn't work out how I planned. Sometimes image transfers work for me, sometimes they don't. It's a while since I did any. I should have started this sooner so I could do more, but there we have it. Anyway, Nina will have a video this week and uh, yeah, I'm sure she's made a, a better job of her image transfers, but you know, it is what it is. Not everything goes well in art, not everything goes to plan and you know, I was going to say, well, all of this will be good collage, if nothing else. And then I thought, well, I may as well just get on and do a collage, you know, a journal page. So, yeah, when I see this, it'll be a useful reminder to me. So, I actually quite like the page at the end of the day. So, sorry, this video, in terms of technique, wasn't great, but certainly a few lessons learned. So, you know... Bear with me, hopefully the next one will be better, but there we go. As I say, can't work out every time, but if you've made it this far, thanks ever so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it, and yeah, so take care everybody. See you next time, hopefully. Bye for now.